Greetings everyone, and Great here from another Comfy Girls 1 replay. Spawn on the south side as the British forces wear Thrash Hoofs. Spawn as the other British forces wear Maxwell D. Taylor. Spawn on top of the right side as the Wehrmacht forces we have Arcanus, I think. And spawn as the other Wehrmacht player we have Xander MD. We do now have, looks like the Kenograd here, not select that doctrine just yet with double press in the field they're going to eye the locations for the ford hq looks like green maybe eyeing to set himself up on this fuel point the kenograd does capture it up in time so it'll be extra long time before this intersection can capture this sector lieutenant now complete and we also got intersection here this player is pecking up going to be eyeing for this fuel point looks like get probably behind the train Kenograd now getting prepared on up. G43 squad could try to suppress the Corvus squad, but probably doesn't have enough munitions for it. Capture complete, sir. Lads looking for <clears throat> and the Kenograd could try pushing these guys uh, around, try to capture the point. And let's see, he does get inside this train station. We've got two Panzer Grenadiers in the sector. This one has been captured. The other player maybe on the Redeploy there soon. And Grad pushes away forward. Let's go and try to decapture this point in order to get it. Uh, decapture before he gets it secured. HQ is moving slowly forward. The Kenograd is now decapturing it once again. As Grandier is also dogpiling the point. I think he just used the point that's in the marksman there. And does back on off. And does decapture the sector in time. This point is being decaptured by the pioneers. The access players are just pulling out just enough to prevent the points from being secured. Run Curry now pulled up by his German teammate and Scope of Squad is flanking around. Our German target destroys, so there may be a dead pioneer somewhere. MG42 right there. <clears throat> Inspection squad gets inside the train station as well. Run carry gain some damage onto the cutting grad. Panzer Grenadier is moving around. We do have the if section does get pinned by the MG42 and Shimvog in the region. This Scopa squad is getting hit by multiple sources. Does need to fall back a little soon. Scopa squad here does get out of the train station and Shimvog and now. Oh, deployed. I think I just saw it deployed as marksman there as well. Another intersection squad now pulled on out. Next players sounds like they've been losing quite a bit of units. We've got Pioneer, Germwagen, and MG42. Over here, just like just two Panzer Grenadiers in the Kettengrad. No doctrine selected just yet. Strong likelihood it's going to be Scorched Earth. Grimwagen won't be able to push too far forward of all these forces nearby. we now got the Pioneers coming up here to repair up the Schirmwagen. And up here, Kenograd needs repairs as well. His teammates Pioneers can help him out with that. we got this train station garrison, but it looks like there's only one window on the side, so it's not a great garrison to fight from this direction. There are zero windows on the side, so it's also not great to fight from this direction. Trying to get inside this train station. There are plenty of windows on this side, so it's a good spot to fight from this direction. And we've got the NMG carrier upgrade on the way and some repairs there. Oh, Bearmock Sniper. Bearmock Sniper now pulling field. Kill number one. <coughs> Instruction moving around. Sniper pushed right forward. Finds a shot there onto the scope armor squad. And this. Guy here is getting suppressed. Kenny Grand moving around. At the MMG carrier upgrade. This Panzer Deer squad is taking significant amount of damage. We also got two structures. NCOs reporting they have destroyed a German target. There. Not sure what got wiped out. Maybe a pioneer. Let's note the MG42 got wiped out. Intersection starting to get hit there. And both these squads do fall back. 
MMG carrier is way over here. We also got the Panzer Command and the Comp Proof Company. It was like I'm going to see a 2 to 2 or 5. And the Kettengrad Wu managed to crawl his way home. He meets Pioneers right there, so pretty far away from repairs. Any section even making an opportunity to go for the VP and fuel point. Panzer Grenadier is taking some damage here. As Panzer Grenadier squads fall on back. The two and Schimmelwagen now engaging. The scope our squad gets sniped as well. Guys, and clearing station complete. I thought I heard something else being built. It's like another cash. Oh, no, that's a mortar emplacement. Ah, that may not be a great spot for mortar emplacements. A little bit exposed right there. That's not a lot of trees. What did I just hear? Sounds like this guy did, was grinding a clutch. I don't know if you guys ever can hear that, but when I hear things that sound really weird, I get really confused. And I heard, like, the clutch sound rapidly being used. Volksrandir is falling back there. And looks like now another slit trench up right there. The Vermont Claire may want to eye for some flam and warfers, and semi grenades or incendiary mortars would be useful for the fans lead player. Swing Witch, uh, no doctrine selected yet either. I don't know if there's any doctrine that's selected. It does get the slit trench top on the field. It'd be hard to displace that. Though the Vermont Snipers here, which can be a bit more effective in displacing it, but looks like the snipers are having trouble firing. Is shot there under the Bren squad. Another 2 to 2 there. MMG carrier, and we got the intersection, one in the intersection squad there. This intersection squad does fall back. Another snipe shot there on the Bren. Yep, on upgrade squad will be next. We now have a left hand inside this little trench, which will keep it nice and warm. And then grab capture the fuel point there. More emplacement could be under siege for them soon. The MMG carrier can do decent damage to the armored car. And everything's falling back over here. Flam Warfare and the Volksgrenadiers recaptured these Some sectors. The oh, what got that? Was it a mortar? Don't see an explosion there if it was a landmine. Must have been a lucky mortar hit. Or maybe it was a Piatz? That could be Piatz. The initiative is ours. Victory countdown started. Something being deployed out here. Officer, reporting for duty. Fresh lieutenant. We also got a Overlight fresh captain officer. here. This is field support. Field support is ready. Your point's now locked down. He's heading to the mission sector now. Two BPs, but nothing being selected just yet. A little bit of Look lobby up. over here. To start to make his advance. He also has the sector capture, so the captain can provide quite a bit of good benefits to this region. So keep the captain back here, keep him nice and safe, wouldn't be half bad. Heading grad, still no doctor selected there. 2 2 moving around. We've got the sniper and the pack 38 firing away. Each section is pushed way forward. Captain's now out of the sector. Takes a pot shots on the Flam Warfer. Good hits there onto the Volksrender. Sniper rotating around with the 2 2 coming in to support. Oh, 
Front's shifting. Jerry's overrunning one of our sectors. I'm more for quick inside this garrison. Should be able to arrange these units. As a flying morph is not. Oh, it is getting inside the garrison. There may not be a door on that side. No, there's a door on that side. So just it being stupid. And the flying morph quick goes on down there. And we also got a landmine discovered by the scope rifle squad. NCO's report. Lieutenant is KIA. Lieutenant down. Stewart now trying to gauge the armored car. These forces are moving up over here. Got two snipers here. One not camouflaged. Spread his shots. Needs to focus on that scope our squad. Scope our squad's trying to it for the boy that's a marksman. Two two blitzing around there. Ooh, that's a wooden panzer gun deer. Must not have medics at home yet. COs have what they need to pull in artillery. And we do now have Royal Artillery being selected for the first player we currently have selected. <clears throat> artillery is now running on in. Ready this time orders. from green, I think we're going to see double Royal Artillery. We got double Stewart on the field, which should be pretty effective. Maybe a good idea to go for a repair sapper and we get them overhealed. And the landmine's still there, and it may actually explode the entire garrison if it, well, explodes. We've got two pan trucks inside this garrison here. Stewart's in an angle where they won't receive any television fire. Though these windows are pop, uh, panels being blown out could result in firing out of. This in computers too, that's how it works. If you put a hole in your structure, they can actually fire out all those holes. It does take out one of the pan trucks there. Lieutenant still keeping that trench nice and warm. Though he may receive a sniper shot. I'm not sure where that shot was going. Construction does inside the trench now. Friend squad firing away. Still got the landmine there. No base healing just yet for this Panzer Elite player. And I don't see anything being queued up here. So he's foregoing any sort of healing, which is actually a little bit dangerous, I would say. Sword Stone makes his way forward. Does get hit there onto the armored car. Extra squad does get inside the garrison. They get shot. Does roll miss on the steward. T2 is getting some trip damage on the steward. Another hit there. And Shrek rolls on the miss. And it looks like we've now got a vector target being brought in by the captain. Does they have injured crit there? And the vector target gets direct hit there onto the 2 2. And does have the Panstrek squad as well and gives up a free Panstrek. I've been told putting Panstreks on your on your officer is actually pretty good uh, as well. But it does go ahead and pick it up the theme section. Does get a kill there. Currently, the mount patches in the field. I have a feeling maybe going for tank hunter. Now I've got a regular barrage down to the train station, and we've got a sending counter now being pulled out in a forward position. Not really necessary at the moment, honestly. You also could cancel it and wait for it. A threat to be popped up to make use of it. And I've got those Panzer Grenadiers falling back. Pack 30 here. And now we've got the Shimwagen, also Veteran C1. That decent force here, starting to forward. Captain left in here, and this sector still captures, so the captain can provide some benefits here. And Shrek squad there, pair of pioneers, well, and flam warfare to fight on another landmine there. Scobar squad can find it, but it does take a bit of time to find it, so he can still explode on it. So he may find this one, one way or another. 
Found it that way. It does spot this other one. And we'll take some shots onto it, but it does explode himself. Got too close there. And now everything's falling back. Jerry has 300 points remaining. Got the friend carrier took some damage there. <laughs> Stuart takes some hits there and does use cancer shock onto that extra squad. We got a bunch of guys inside of here, and I don't believe the panels are allowed to be fired out of, so that is something not coming something added to Heroes 2, not to Heroes 1. Once Stuart does go down, does use another canister. And this uh, pressure squad gets annihilated, though he does throw some zone panic strikes into the casual clean station. Get some good hits there on that panic strike squad. Stuart has some health to work with. Casual clearing station, not so much. Each section squad straight forward. Now we've got these forces falling back. German and there goes the Sherman Wagen. That 70 pound is almost destroyed. Now we've got the Stuart being overhealed as well. Very nice. He has been munitions to work with, so he can throw cancer rounds as well. Steady up, boys. Oh, we know both of them have gone. Oh. There goes that, uh. 25 pounder. Actually, I don't know if this player has gone for artillery or not. I'd like to target is something that's available normally, right? Not a doctrine ability. Let's take a look around. Ah, Churchill's. Churchill AVREs are, can be pretty good. He has plenty of munitions to utilize for Churchill AVREs. So hopefully we'll see Churchill AVRE rather than Churchill Crocodile. The mountain placements he has, I'm so surprised we don't see the advanced placement. He has three command points, that's enough for... That's definitely enough for Averies, I think it's even enough for a Crocodile. He makes sure around, may get a cancer shot onto those answer tracks. Does, and does force him back. He does not have Churchill on the field, does have armor command truck, and does go for Cromwell. Does get the shortage right there in the stew. Staghound charms his way forward, which can finish off the stew. Just needs to get uh, into the rear armor, which he does have exposed. Oh, he may be out of range. Nope. Destroyed engine crit there once again. Act 30 is now trying to gauge the stack helm. Rolls a miss there, looks like. Oh, was a whiff. And gets a manga destroyed crit there. Looks like starting to gauge. Dude can't fire, his manga destroyed. These other forces push way forward. Each sections with a repair squad. Sector being decaptured, and it looks like the Stu has been saved. The uh, Staghound has withdrawn. It does have a run of promo, it does fall back there, main gun repaired. Rest of course is now falling back. Let's see now. Cancel lead player. Must have the option selected. I'm not sure which option though. Not on Panther Strikes, I'm assuming Tank Hunter. Other than that, I have no idea which option he has gone for. Fancy your command, there goes a Tank Buster. And for the Vermont player, he has gone for Blitzkrieg. 
course we knew that. P has gone for stews. And that was what that stew on in. Stack hound promo not gonna go on the flank, trying to hit gauge that stew's rear armor. Let's fire around there on the 25 pounder. He does not have the boards, I believe. Let's get some good hits there. Destroyed the crit, it does get a kill off in time. Stewart's engine is critted. We do have a stack helm, not critted. This Pantrax squad does get the garrison. Does get it there in the stack helm, does fall back there. Pack 30 between over here. Still no Pantrax secondary Pantrax. Section push way forward. The Stu does his me some repairs. Stack out does take a hit. I ain't got a short crit there on the stack out. Death crit there. That was gonna hit there. Splitting his fire. The stack out could drive away. There's only wire here. He should be able to, excuse me, break on through. I ain't got a short crit there. Stack. Excuse me. I am getting hiccups. Does break on through. Rolls a miss there. The enemy's tanks do not stand a chance against our superior fighting capability. That Stuart has gone down. Got three snipers here by the Wehrmacht player. It's Firefly here. Handstrack, another Act 3 pushing over there. Old spinner is suppressed. Let's get on out of there, trying to avoid the 25 pounders uh, raining on in. Those are like these 25 pounders trying to hit the pack 38. Volksgrenadiers kept that deploy. Got two intersections all on the flank. Gain some damage there onto the Volksgrenadiers. And a few points being decaptured. Over here, got this Pensgrenadier pushing way forward. And this Volksgrenadier is not falling back. Your point's been captured. Other forces are moving their way forward. We do now have got a Carmel and two Staghounds pushing over here. The Stu can go down to these forces. Pack 38 may need to be focused on first, however. Friend Squad could try buttoning the Stu. Good damage coming out there. Looks Creek has been activated. Pack 38 does get decrewed. This pack 38 now being focused down as well. Gets a good rearmor hit there. Carmel takes some hits. And now got the Panzer Support Command upgrade. Damage crit there onto the Cromwell. Carmel takes some massive hits there. Looks like there's a creeping barrage. I think his teammate launched barrage there. I think he walked into his opponent's his teammate's creeping barrage. Does get that deep through there. Starting to fall back now. The stack hounds will escape on out of there. His teammate stack hounds here. Does avoid damage as well. Got a good number of stack hounds with the old. Command abilities have been upgraded. Let's create his on cooldown. Right now he has two stews. One almost dead, another one being hit. Sniper's now trying to gauge the intersection, does force them back there. Bren Carrier gets some damage on the Panzer Grenadiers, forcing them back. He does take time to scorch support, so he's actually gone for Scorched Earth, not for Tank Hunter. And now he just have just activated the Panther Battle Group and can bring in a pair of Panthers now. He is has four squads of Panzer Grenadiers and now plus two Panthers. Go ahead, sir. Ready to move. It looks like he may or may not have base healing there. I don't see the healing icon, but it looks like they're all fully healed. Should some 
Yeah, he doesn't actually have base healing yet, does he? These Volk's Grenadiers are not getting healed, or maybe they already have full health. Eh, I can't really tell, honestly. Yeah, I mean, he may have base healing, it just doesn't look like it. Panthers taking some hits there. Out of the intersections, one of them has a Panther Shrek. Patrick squad does fall back there. Does get a hit there. These guys are overhealed, looks like. And the Patrick squad does fall back. Do we see any church rolls yet? No Churchills. He has spent some command points, so I think he has at least the boards. May have improved income. There goes a the pack 38. Stackhound did some hits there. Stackhound does go down. There's quite a bit of 18 now on the field, so rushing Stackhounds like this is not exactly super great. See these Stackhounds move around. Does lose that Stackhound. Now we've got multiple fireflies which we forward. The short engine crit there, so this one's good as dead. Stack counts push right forward. Got two pack 38s here. Hand trucks are raining on in, gets good hits on the firefly. Now a fresh 17 pounder to pull out on the field, and that will have of course the boards. Yep, you can see the boards. Now fall back there. Does get side out of the train station. Let's see, plus 26, that seems normal to me. So he may not have to improve income just yet. Though, strange enough, his teammate has more munitions income. He's out the panther there. Got three seconds to straight forward. The fireflies getting repaired on the pump. Patrick's straight forward. The scorpion squad taking some stew hits. There goes one of the stag hounds. Pack 38's in the background. Gets good hits. I was going to fall back there. Fresh. Uh, Ophers there, so it does have the board, so it will make it a bit more durable. And now he's trying to repair up the, the uh, BP. Now there's the AVRE and the Crocodile. I think the AVR, he should go for the AVRE. He has plenty of munitions to feed him AVRE. And I think the Avery is just generally better. The Crocodile is a little bit underwhelming. I think the Avery is the best of the three Churchills. Though the regular Churchill is not bad as well. Since it is 600 manpower and doesn't require munitions. Avery only costs, not munitions, 600 manpower as well. But the Crocodile does, is not worth 800 manpower in my opinion. Going after one of our munition stores. Good hits there and does get the point repaired. Ofer is firing away, getting some decent damage. He's maybe trying to torque, scorch the point once again. Ofer does take some hits. He takes the force and has a bit more durability. And his teammates repair Sapphire, so going to be repairing it on up as well. Does get the point scorched. But it's there onto the infantry section. Now I got vector target, no officer artillery. Germans are trying to secure our patrol dump. Ready for order. Another 25 pounder pull on the field. Granny does not have access to even barrage or anything like that. 
But now we do have some work from half trucks being pulled in the field. Destroyed a German target. That's some sort of wipe there. It looks like it may have been a sniper. I think that's a sniper. It's hard for me to tell. Point's not repaired. Oh, first is being repaired. And those transmit near squads do fall back. Okay, I got the intersections not pushed along the flank with a vet two captain. Clearance station taking some damage. Brand squad's here to defend now. He may does get the kill on the cash clearance station. Over is taking some hits there. Sniper moving around. Now we got the Warframe Barrage raining on in. Goes the bull first. These sections charging the way up here. These points may be booby trapped. Let's get this push to button. Stackhouse trying to charge the way forward. Gotta be careful not getting himself crushed. He's next to the building. Stackhouse charging the way forward and over on the pack 38. His forces are exhausted as well, so he can't get easily crushed. Firefly now gets the rear armor. Let's get a good hit there, crush a couple models. Let's have a pan strike shot. Pan strike here. Doesn't get a shot up there. But the Firefly is going to run by the Panthers. Firefly does go down. Pan strike fires, rolls a bounce there. Friend Squad does take a hit there. Fresh catch and clear station of the field. Panthers trying to crush those units, it does force them back. I got the Carmo and Firefly between the boards and PS and Co. Tiger tank sweep forward. Now it's quite a bit of heavy German armor out now on the field. He's trying to hold down. He will probably lose his forces. Carmel is taking quite a bit of extra hits thanks to the hold down. He doesn't have a command to support these units. They're going to destroy the crit there. Uh, just one moment. Let's just focus. Uh, the, one of the British players is Maxwell D. Taylor. The other British player is Parashos. And the Pazzi player is Akins, and the Verbach player is Xander, and the... Was it the point just got repaired on up, stack count, taking some hits there. But not each section is here to provide support. The Tiger Tank is quite wounded. We do have a Panzer Shrek here. Those are now going to be trying to repair up the stack hound. Run carry here. Could try to get a button. These Verbach vehicles are quite damaged. He hits now engaging the rear armor, gets some good hits there. We do now have Toro charge been activated, and he's going to get some hits from the Warframins. Force him back there, taking private damage from them. And he got a short crit there, it's in front of getting some good hits. Service battalion has been two battle His shoot does go down. Tiger target. tank, I believe, is still in radius or still in range. Yes, it is. It's out of vision range. Sniper does get a good hit there. And the point gets disabled once again. Patrick squad does fall back. We got these two Patrick squads from forward. 
Decent damage in the Sinking Encounter, but they do have fours and take a lot of extra hits. More hits running on in, using the PS to sort of bring it on up. Sending Kyder to engage. Ooh, and the PS got annihilated there. Both of dropped a PS. And they went to the front carrier to get a button off. Wait, but it has an MMG carrier, so it can't probably button any. Warfman running on in, he's starting to get annihilated here. Squad squad does take a hit there. 25 pounders trying to hit these forces. Panthers are just wait forward. Emate does have a fire flat field. He does not have one currently. But if you have a creep garage raiding on in, stop on please units. Fire tank takes the quite a bit damage. He's forced to fall back. Got a P picked up by the intersection. The overall is getting annihilated. So got the stew, however, here. Brian taking some hits there. These reinforcements. Firefly could push a bit forward to hit this stew here. There you go, Firefly's not doing that. The captain could bring an effective target, but I think that's what he's doing right there. NLC's reported Jerry Tank has been knocked out. Stu's now falling back. Pendrick Squad keeping the Firefly at bay. Another war from Barrage there, damaging the engine of the new command truck. Over here, do you have the intersection? Falls back now and explodes right there. Right now, the British players do have a good VP lead. The Verrock forces are quite wounded. And the captain will pick up the Piet and we'll receive a snipe shot. Let's go for a squad. I am deploying as the marksman. He does just ward him away. Forward OP is reporting a sector is under attack. This point is captured. This point is now captured. The access player has done 75 tickets. Our artillery player does not have a whole lot of munitions in reserve. Gates and hits there on the various armor. It looks like they took out a good number of pioneers there. Artillery raining in that sector way over here. Warframe Barrage eyeing for somewhere over here. He's a hit on the 17 pounder. Firefly getting some good damage on his stack hounds, taking some pot shots. The Pensley or the Verbach player does not have a lot of man manpower nor munitions. Firefly takes some hits there, but should be just fine. The Patrick squad does fall back there. Do fire away over here. There's another setting powder going on up. Firefly engaging the pioneers. Stormtroops trying to capture the point. They can't scorch the point, just to capture. Staghounds. This one has a mega destroyed crit there, needs to fall back. I can think, make another shot onto it? No, it does not. Firefly push away four, trying to pick off this panther. Does not get a shot off. And this point does get scorched. Another war from Garage draining in somewhere over here, trying to hit the 17 pounder, I believe. Does need some repairs now. A good amount of intersections now pushing along the flank. Firefly engaging. It's a hit there. I think it's wounded.
Catch our spring forward over here. Firefly will have the support of the 17 pounders. And some hits there. He does have two stack counts. Very far from fully repaired. The more healthy one does take a hit. The other one is a, has zero health remaining. 17 pounder takes some hits, but thanks to the boards, it can take extra hits. Another tank cluster push straight forward. Looks like going to try to finish off this entry pounder, but does finish it off. And this point is not getting repaired on up. That was gonna hit there. Good hit. Go for our squad. We'll repair up the point, and the point's now fully repaired. As we can maybe on the charge forward to get a torch once again. But once you start capturing it, even if you scorch the point, you can still finish the capture? Nope, you don't. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure if you're capturing it, you can still maintain the capture. It's always a little bit iffy, because I've seen times where it's being captured, then it gets torched. Or scorched, and then, but the capture still continues. In sections moving around. Got storage troopers here. One with one pan track, the other one has only one as well. Two pants can just put it along the flank, trying to hit this HQ. That was forcing back there. Good rifle grenades. Look, that's Piyots. This guy here has. Quite a little, very little health remaining. You may want to jump out, throw the scorpion squad in there. The 70 pounders taking some damage. Doesn't have any nearby repair squads, looks like. Has one PS squad, which actually is repairing it. And now the soldier squad's falling back. Here comes the from Brawl, which may take out the 70 pounder. Now we got a Humo Barrage hitting the 25 pounder as well. He does still have another 25 pounder. You see me he's off to a good number of stack hounds and fireflies. Gets good hits there onto the Panther. Handstruck does roll some misses there. It's trying to charge his way forward. There, these forces now falling back. Panther is off retreating as well out of that escort. The Vermont player still needs a large number of repairs. He may want to go get some repair bugs on field for their team. Both these squads are now falling back. This point is getting repaired up by the captain. He's almost complete. Well, what is it? Another Piet has been upgraded, so it has two Piet squads in the field. Mount stuff on the field, maybe a good idea to go for a repair squad. Now Captain has repaired the VP and now I'll be capturing it up. This section engaging, but you have a Stormtrooper squad pushing way forward. I was gonna hit there, but it's not prone to going down anytime soon. Here comes a war from Barrage. Final oh, grenade there, which plugs, does explode the trench, and the up. Tiger tank finish off the squad. There's also a double capture against the Axis players. This point up here has been decaptured, and I think what I was capturing it up got exploded. Pick some placement. Now to pull it on the field. Right there. Same pounder will go down. And soldiers are moving around. Tiger tank push away forward. Fireflies mid back here. Could push forward to get some rounds on in. It's like now being recaptured by Instrux squad. Stormtroopers can get annihilated by the stag hounds. Got the panther push way forward. Wounded panther. Got the two fireflies here for support. He's a good rearm hits there. 
Beards may finish him off. Sword and damage to crit there on the Tiger Tank. Bang up the Sword crit there on the Panther. And Tiger Tank does go down as well. The last of VPs are counting down now. And that is the end of the replay. This is Anna Gray saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.